It was a decision that would have a profound impact not only on Germany, but the entire world. But just how did a democracy like Germany fall under the sway of a tyrant in the first place? It all goes back to Germany's loss to the Allies in World War I. German leaders were forced to sign the Treaty of Versailles, agreeing to shrink its armed forces, give up land, and pay large sums of money in reparations, weakening its already unstable economy. Many Germans felt humiliated and betrayed by their leadership, and there was growing fear that their nation would be stuck in poverty and decline. In this climate of bitterness, Hitler rose to prominence. A gifted public speaker, he captured the people's disillusionment with a series of speeches calling for a stronger, unified Germany. He insisted that one group was to blame for the nation's post-war misfortunes, the Jews. Then, in 1929, the Great Depression hit, destroying the German economy overnight and leaving millions unemployed. Hitler saw the ensuing chaos as his opportunity to seize power. He loudly criticized the ruling government and promised to return Germany to greatness. Long-suffering Germans believed they had finally found their savior. In Germany's 1932 elections, the Nazis won a majority of seats in parliament, and Hitler ran for president. Under Hitler's orders, rival parties were banned well, and executed political opponents. Anti-Semitic laws prohibited Jews from working, voting, and occupying public spaces. A propaganda department produced art, films, and books praising Hitler and embracing his vision of a better Germany. After the death of President von Hindenburg in 1934, Hitler declared himself Führer, an absolute dictator. With Germany under his total control, Hitler would shift his focus to global domination, setting the stage for World War II.